Victoria. Get those heels up. My name is Bill Foster, PE teacher. I've been here since uh, fall of uh, 1982. I've coached football here. I currently coach the boys and girls tennis team, assistant athletic director. So I've done a variety of things here at Grant High School, and it's been it's been a great ride. Today we're working on a combination of things. We are we've started the preparation for our state physical fitness test. So we've started testing on on push-ups. Today we're probably going to do some some uh, crunches, or not really crunches. They call them curl-ups. You know, it's a different type of uh, abdominal exercise. So, and and that's geared towards ninth and tenth grade students who need to pass a fitness gram. And believe it or not, in the state of California, a lot of people don't know this, but when you enter high school, physical education is required for four years. And then if one takes the fitness gram in their ninth and tenth grade year, and they pass five out of six components height and weight, which has been eliminated this year, I think because of COVID, which is probably a good thing. Uh, but they have to do the mile run or the pacer. Those two components would take care of the cardio uh, in terms of strength development, uh, push-ups, curl-ups, and then there are two flexibility components that uh, comprise the uh, fitness gram. It's really hot today, like today, when it's going to be probably 95 to 100 degrees. Uh, you know, we try to Talk to the kids about hydration. You know, the average person should be drinking at least half of their body weight in ounces in water daily. And that's not, that excludes uh, any type of soda or any type of Gatorade. And those things are not what they are perceived to be in our society. But just regular, just straight water is, is, is vital and critical when, when the weather and the temperatures up as they will be today. One thing I, I really love about uh, being in PE and teaching PE all these years, uh, it's, been a, it's been a great experience. I've, you know, the years that I've coached and, and some of the kids in my classes, um, you, you develop a relationship with them, especially the athletes that I've coached over the years. Uh, I still, you know, I see some, some of them now, you know, they're teachers, they're working in the educational uh, system. So, so it, it, gave, it gives me a little bit of pride and a little bit of joy that I, I had some type of influence on, on them deciding what career they were going to pursue. Thank you.